Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. Today we're going to have a look at this uh, at this idea of using OneNote and tying it into how we can store evidence for NCCD purposes. So um, this is definitely probably more correlated to our Australian watches, but quite often when I'm at schools, people will say to me, Nathan, you know, I'm using OneNote. I make all my adjustments for my learners on my OneNote and then I've got to somehow take them all out of OneNote and store them somewhere else and manage them somewhere else. Is there some way that I can just do it inside the same space? So what we're going to have a look at today is a possible workflow solution that you could use um, at your school to help you with that. So what you need first is you actually need your two OneNotes. So in this case, what I have on the screen here is kind of just like a unit plan. Okay, that's the week outline for what's available, um, also what's going to be taught. Um, you could also do it um, if you've just got a class one and you have a teacher only section, you could kind of manage it inside that space. It doesn't really matter because what we're going to look at doing is linking and we're going to link to a second OneNote. So what you'll need to do is create a second OneNote and you'll need to make that available in a space that you can share with the people that need access to it. So in this case, I've already gone ahead and created mine. If I click down here in the top uh, left, I've created this one here called the NCCD Notebooks. So I'm going to click on that one. And what I've already created here is a section group. So what you'll probably want to do, and obviously you can kind of structure this how you like, is name that section group. So I'm going to right click to rename, and I might go with something like a um, date range. Oops. Um, you know, 2019 to uh, 20, there we go. Okay, so that's going to give me that range in which I'm collecting the evidence in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down right down to the bottom left-hand corner here and go add section. And these are going to be my students. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, type in the name of my student. So we're going to type in Joe Smith. Okay, and Joe Smith, you know, now has his own section inside that. And I can click to keep adding sections and these can be all my different students. Okay, and as I scroll through each one, I'm using those sections to add pages to, to collect their evidence. So let's say that I'm a teacher, okay, and I'm setting up for the term um, or some more so for the year or the period of which this um, evidence needs to be collected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to access my NCCD notebook first. I'm going to go in and I'm going to find the student I make adjustments for. So I make adjustments for Joe Smith. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on Joe Smith's name and I'm going to go copy link to section. I'm going to take that one and then I'm going to go back to the planning document that I'm using. So here's my planning document and here where it says student, I'm going to paste that link. Okay, it won't come up with like a URL link, it will just come up with whatever that document or whatever that section is called. So from here, I might've gone along here in my resources um, or maybe here and even in adjustments. What have we got? There we go. So I've got some adjustments here that I've made. So this document here has been adjusted for Joe. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click to um, copy that. I'm going to click to go to my NCCD notebook and here in Joe's section, I'm going to paste it. Okay. And I'm going to do that every time I create um, a new document that has um, evidence related to changes made for Joe. So this one here as well. And obviously like if I collect them over time here, okay, I could kind of, you know, if I hold down shift and click it, I can collect more than one. So I can copy both go back to my NCCD notebook here and I can paste and they will both go in at the same time. Now, what has the link done? This is what the link's done. So if it's in my planning document, what is great is that anyone that looks through and goes through my planning document can go <clears throat> adjustments for learners for Joe Smith, click on Joe Smith's name, and then it will take them to Joe Smith's section. And here we have all of Joe Smith's work that um, we have collected over that period. Now it's NCCD, NCCD time. I need to kind of upload this documentation somewhere. Okay. 
All I need to do is I need to print. So if I go to my print options, here in your printer, you may have your allocated printer, um, but you can actually change it to print um, to PDF. So we're gonna click that one. And then here, it will kind of always default to current page. So that's just the one page, but Joe has his own section. So what I can do is I can go, I actually want Joe's section. So because I'm, the first page is blank, but because I'm in Joe's section, what we'll notice as I scroll across, these are the pieces of work that we put in. Okay, so that will print that. No, it won't. It will actually save it as a PDF document, all as one grouping. Okay, I can make sure my scaling so it all fits to the one page, so it's all nice. I can date things accordingly. It's OneNote as well, so you can mark up all over it if you um, want to highlight what those adjustments were for better communication. Um, and even more so, if it's something where you just want to um, take everyone, okay, you could just take the whole section group and that will collect every student. But in this case, we're just going to focus on um, Joe Smith only. And I'm going to click here to print. Okay, and then it's just going to ask me, you can see here it's going to save as a PDF. It's going to ask me, where do you want this saved? Let's check out my desktop there. You don't want to go um, NCCD, Joe Smith, save it. And then after my entire period's finished, what I'm left with is if I go to my finder, there we go. Where is he? He's going to be here somewhere. NCCD Joe Smith. There he is. So I can click to open that one up and opening up here, I'm just going to bring this one over is a PDF version of all the evidence that I've collected over that period of time for Joe. You can take that PDF document, you can put it into whatever system you're using um, to submit your evidence for NCCD. Um, it's a great kind of little way of using OneNote to manage that entire environment. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. I hope it kind of helps you if you're one of those avid OneNote users that um, are using it to make adjustments for students. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks, guys.